Following a wave of terror attacks in Europe by Moroccan nationals, Tunisian security experts say they were not surprised because hundreds of terrorists from North Africa have fled Syria and Iraq. With the advancement of the Syrian army and the Iraqi forces, with the help of their respective allies, Daesh terrorists are losing the war and the territory they control. Tunisian, Moroccan, Algerian and Libyan terrorists are fleeing the conflict zones to safer areas in northern Africa and Europe from where they are targeting innocent people. Nurdin Nabarki is the editor-in-chief of a Tunisian online magazine. He has recently returned from Damascus where he met with senior Syrian officials. Barki says he has learned that thousands of North African militants have joined ISIL in the past six years. The journalist asserts that Moroccan and North African ISIL sleeper cells are weak, yet they remain unpredictable. Daesh commanders know very well that they will be defeated and that the Syrian army will regain control over its territory. The sleeper cell's modus operandi in Barcelona and other cities reflects their despair. Barki argues that Morocco and its neighbors are very serious in the war against terrorism. We cannot blame the Moroccan authorities for the deadly attacks. The terrorists were either trained in Syria, Iraq or in Europe. Those who financed and protected Daesh are responsible for the insecurity in the world because they nourished violent and dangerous terrorists. In 2015, Tunisia witnessed a series of deadly terror attacks. Since then, the security situation has improved as a result of the collaboration between the Interior and Defense Ministries. At least 1,300 people were arrested on terrorism charges some of the detainees are ISIL members who have returned from Syria and Iraq. Adnan Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.